Hello there. Today we are going to uh, take a quick look at an upcoming feature that I will uh, I am planning to incorporate incorporate in the next version of the CRIS in CRIS five. Uh, as you can see, the current running version is <coughs> CRIS four point zero, and uh, this feature I have been working on for a while. This is to uh, you know track exchange back and forth exchange of models and processes between a dental lab and dental clinic so for example you want to send a model and then receive a crown or bridge and then uh, uh, you know you have to track the payments and other informations and you can use it to do that uh, it will be uh, just uh, very basic functions for right now and I'll try to improve it in the future so what you have to do is that as usual you will fire up the database from anywhere yeah. and insert your username and your password And click login. Uh, you will be presented with the familiar home screen. And uh, here, uh, we in a in, the, in our previous video we have talked about the function of all these menus, all the other menus. Here we are going to talk about this only this lab exchange lab exchange menu. This is the one uh, which is not currently absent in four. If you click on it, you will see that there are nine nine different menus and the first three here are the most important by far the first one is send item the second one is receive item and the third one is insert item send item you will be using for sending uh, model or processes to the lab receive you will be to receive from the lab as the name suggests uh, the due sending will let you track the items that are not yet been sent which item you have actually entered into the database but have not sent the due receiving option will let you track which item you have sent to the lab but yet have not arrived and the due uh, insertion will let you track the items that you have received but still have not supplied to the patient or inserted in the mouth of patient the due payment option will let you track uh, if you have any payment due with the lab. Uh, the lab card will have almost all the entries you make, whether it's due sending, due receiving, or any other entries. That the lab card will have all of them. And uh, as usual, the exit will let you exit the lab. So let's take an example. Uh, first, let us. Uh, send an item if you click you will be presented with this form and then send send item as you can see there are three sections three very distinct sections on the form divided by the arrow first one is for sending and the second one is for receiving and the third one is for inserting on the top of it you see you will see an exchange ID this will be an unique exchange ID that will be auto generated by the database you don't need to enter it in the send form but you will need to enter it in the sub subsequent forms but in the send options and or the send menu you don't need to enter it it will be auto generated so assign the processes to a patient first every processes will come for a specific patient the patient will appear the patient IDs will appear here you can manually enter or type in or select from the list I have only one patient but if you have several or uh, if you have uh, um, more entries they will appear here so let's uh, select this patient and as you can see their name and age will be drawn in by the database uh, you don't need to enter them either the name age and 
the database will find them itself yeah uh, next up item uh, there are some pre-selected items you can select one from here for example remove metal crown select the jaw um, I'll select upper jaw um, two no I should get one one unit of uh, permanent molar Yeah, sorry, that was one unit, not two. Sorry. Yeah, if you have, uh, you can also mention the shade, any special requirement, anything else if you want. Here, the metal will not have any shade, so I put the part blank. Um, select the send option to yes, because we are sending it right now. Select the date, the date on which this is being sent. You can select labs. You can also enter new lab, the name of your lab with this uh, edit list item option. Uh, you can add the name and contact number of your lab. Here I'm going to select this one. Mm, lab charge. Write in the usual amount they charge you for that particular processes um, the remake or reason for remake will left in, leave it for any uh, particular event where you are actually remaking uh, identity or processes now remember to uh, keep the received paid and inserted option to no uh, I have set them the default but it will be no by default but if somehow they are not please click uh, select no and then uh, save the form yeah. now if you click print uh, it will generate a little slip that you can attach to your model I am still designing the slip that is why it's not appearing here that slip you can print and attach to your model so the lab will know uh, this information the shades number and jaws etc uh, now that we have sent the item let's close the form okay now that you have sent it and waiting for from the lab this item is going to appear in this due receiving you have sent it and still have not received it so if you click due receiving you will see that this this particular item is appearing here uh, this so let's 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 uh, imagine that the item comes back from the lab uh, from here you will choose the exchange ID here there is only one but when you mix a lot of exchanges you have to select or enter from here and when you enter an uh, exchange ID here all the other informations will be autofilled uh, whatever information you have uh, inserted they will come back uh, come here automatically this all the fields will be outfilled. Now, when you receive, you only have to do two things: create, uh, click the received options to yes, yes, and uh, give a receiving date, the date on which you receive it. In this case, let's say today. And this paid option can be used or no, this uh, based on whether you have already paid the lab or not keep the insert options to no now receive it yes and you can close 
Okay, now that we have received it, uh, we can go on and insert it. Uh, here again, you can see the exchange ID. If you select it, and all the fields will be autofilled again. But uh, wait, wait a minute. Let me show you. Uh, I forgot to show you another thing. Let me close it up. Uh, when you have received it, uh, we have seen it appear in the receiving a minute ago, right? But when you receive it and then click on due receiving as you can see it's not there we have already received it it's not due it has been received so it will not appear here uh, the same way uh, this item is now going to appear in due insertion because we still have not inserted it yet if I click here you can see that this item I have received from the lab but still have not inserted now let's insert it select the exchange ID and all the field will be auto field even the receiving options everything you have entered so far all you have to do is uh, fill up this insert options insert option yeah make it to yes and if you have not paid by this time you should pay the lab the process is worked well select yes yeah and uh, click insert yes and accidentally let me right click sorry yeah okay close now that we have inserted the item is no longer here if i click do insertion the item is not here because it's inserted if if the payment is due uh, it sh would have appeared here if i kept the paid options to no it would have appeared here but now that we have paid it's not the lab cart is just like our patient database everything you enter is going to show up here and you can search by the patient id uh, and see where, which patient received which uh, prosthesis and with exit you can always exit and go back to your home page so uh, this uh, feature is still under development I think it works pretty well right now I just have to uh, design a good looking slip to attach with the models which I'm working on right now and um, this uh, option is going to be available in our next version which i plan to release in january of 2021 uh, everybody keep well thank you for listening